Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us here in the Zoom room and uh, later on when you're practicing with us uh, through the True North Insight YouTube channel. My name is Jill, and I'm uh, happy to be here with you. I was also telling folks in the Zoom room here just before we came on that um, um, I was wondering if it was possible or how would it be to mm, offer a practice in the dark, <laughs> laying down and just guiding the meditation from that place of rest. I've been on a rest theme for a while and we've been talking about the requisites also in another group and um, yeah, just this need to really be gentle and take care um, is, is still present with me tonight. So I encourage you to do that for yourself if that's what your heart body mind needs in terms of self-care um please take that for yourself <sighs> the practice tonight is always inspired by what's what's up what's present what's really current in my heart body mind and sometimes it resonates with other folks and I may it be may it be so um the the practice tonight is inspired by but not the same as a, a Tibetan practice you may have heard of um it's called Tonglen and Tong means sending out in Tibetan and Len L-E-N means receiving in so it's a, a giving and receiving practice or sending and receiving practice more accurately sending and receiving and it's um there's many iterations of it but of course it has a core that is uh, consistent and the core of that practice i'm not a tibetan buddhist and that's not my lineage so i uh, i'm sending this with my heartfelt humbleness and um, apologies for anything I'm offering inaccurately. I'm not going to try to reproduce that practice. I'm just giving a bit of context. So um, I have been led by Tibetan teachers in that practice. And so the, uh, the receiving in part is receiving in the suffering of others of the world and and uh it's you it as i've been taught it it's taught as breathing in sometimes even and visualized as like a gray smoke or a claustrophobic feeling etc other di ways of uh de describing it uh breathing that into our cells into the heart and transforming it within our body and breathing out healing breathing out white light or clear clarity or breathing out um well-being um it's really a practice of trans breathing that in transforming it and breathing it breathing out healing of that uh that's not what we're doing tonight <laughs> um Again, it's not my tradition, and it's not a way that resonates for me, my body. Uh, when I was being taught that practice, uh, I, <laughs> my nervous system was was like on high alert. Like, no, no, that's a that's that's a lot of responsibility. Like, that takes a lot of skill, a lot of training a lot of guidance by your teacher to um, do that in a way that is not going to be harmful. So that's not what we're doing, but it's something that is inspired for me by the great suffering in the world, which we are all feeling. And Tonglen is a compassion practice. It's based on the heart's 
connection to the suffering of others and the action, the response to that suffering through our actions and how we respond in the world. <clears throat> and um, in, in uh, the Dharma, there's an understanding that compassion has a what's called a near enemy, something that seems really like, similar to, very close to compassion, um, but isn't quite, isn't com true compassion, which is called karuna. And that near enemy that seems like compassion is um, sometimes, sometimes it's described in slightly different ways, but um, it's, it's a uh, sorrow. And sorrow, even when I say the word, my chest goes in and my shoulders curl forward. My head goes forward. It's like, oh, this deep, deep heartache for ourselves, for our loved ones, and for the world. And, you, and on all of our hearts and minds is the current war and terrorism in Gaza, in Israel, and when I looked up how many wars are happening in the world right now, one site said 32 countries are at war, and the Geneva Academy listed 110 armed conflicts currently happening in the in the world. And so this is a ongoing state of um, heartache is a massive understatement. And so um, because of um, people near and dear to me and globally, this sense of sorrow, uh, I was just feeling um, really drained and collapsed and overwhelmed and stuck and don't know how to respond, what, to, what can I do, all of that. Um, inner conflict and thankfully the awareness reminded me of previous teachings and practices and uh, remembering of um, one of the well, many, so many teachers, but uh, Guy Armstrong comes to mind and uh, the teachings of spaciousness and emptiness received um, while practicing with Guy Armstrong, uh, but also a retreat with another teacher called Locke Kelly, L-O-C-H-K-E-L-L-Y. I'll put his link down below in the YouTube and uh, I've put it here in the chat. And... Um, hmm. Locke Kelly is a non-dual teacher that <laughs> teaches uh, from ancient traditions, but in, in a really fresh, approachable way. And he, while on retreat with him, offered a practice that he, he called ultimate Tonglen. And <laughs> at first I was like, oh no, well, it sounded bigger and more. I was like, oh no, what's this? But it was so helpful and so beautiful. And so, uh, yeah, healing. Uh, that uh, the practice tonight is inspired by that. Um, I'm not authorized to teach Locke Kelly's meditations and I it's just from what I remember and what I felt from it I, I don't have a, a written down in a book or, or on a recording I looked for it but so it's just my direct experience of it and hopefully uh, it has has um, something to offer for all of us uh, so if we understand that the near enemy of true karuna or compassion, which is 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 sorrow, that collapsing, uh, over
overwhelm. I don't know what to do. And when we say, I'm so sorry, it's like, it becomes about us. Like, this feels so awful. I don't know how to help. I'm so sorry. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm so sorry. But the this uh, practice of, mm, mm, I, I don't want to use the word Tonglen because it's not what I'm authorized to offer. But uh, this way of practicing in, opens the heart infinitely and connects us to all beings without it without our individual self having to work so hard, <laughs> like we got to take this in and <laughs> clean it and send it back out. Uh, so that's what where this is coming from. And uh, it's based on the understanding from the Dharma, uh, but uh, Guy Armstrong teaches this very well, of spacious, awake awareness uh, that is boundless, that holds and is all beings, holds and knows and is, aware of all the suffering of all beings. And part of this human experience is that we all experience loss. We experience not being able to keep what we want. We experience sickness, pain, emotional, physical. Um, we don't all experience all these things all the time. Uh, but there's no live being that escapes pain. Hmm. And uh, so part of the meditation, the guiding of this meditation will be to connect with that source of awareness that is bigger than me, bigger than me and mine. And, um, and includes me and mine. Okay. So that's, let me see if there's any more. Um, so it includes the relative and the absolute. So relatively, there's this heart, body, mind, being, little being <laughs> that feels so big and so all important that is experiencing joys and sorrows. So this is uh, the relative truth and there's the absolute truth that we are all interconnected, that we are, we are all affecting each other, that um, awake awareness is compassionate already. Yes. Okay, I think that's the enough of a context for what this practice is. And uh, so encouragement to really be tender with yourself. You might like to lay down if you have a space where you can do that or dim your lights. I'm just gonna take some water. Hmm. At one point near the beginning of the meditation, I am going to be ringing the bowl a few times just to um, have sound help us to open into um, awake awareness. So just letting you know if that's going to happen, I'll, I'll give you a heads up before I do. Hmm. So... Once you've adjusted your posture or your space, see if you need any movement or touch to, uh, 
to come into a posture of wakefulness and presence. These are practices of awakening. So even if you're laying down and resting, your inner energy is one of awakening. And we begin here with a sense of really connecting with ourselves here and now. So what's here for you physically in the body in this moment? Is there tiredness? What does that feel like? Where is it? Is it tiredness in your brain? Or is your body tired? Is your heart tired? Is your energy tired? See if you can check that out. And what's what's here? Is there any sorrow here for you? That sense of overwhelm, of uh, collapse, of grief that feels stuck does that have a location in the body a sensation does it feel dark or heavy or numb We don't need to go deep into these things. We're just checking in with ourselves, meeting what is here now. Really gently meeting what is painful. Acknowledging this is here. And there may be physical pains in the body. There may be tensions of uh, protection in the jaw, in the shoulders, in the belly, in the chest. And as we breathe in, can we just receive what is here in our own heart, body, mind? Offering some space to it, with it. And as we breathe out, offering this quality of healing, of relief, of kind attention to whatever is difficult and painful within our own being. See if you can let these words and awareness move from the area of the head and the thinking mind downward to the heart center. And in a few moments, I'll ring the bell three times and see if you can receive this sound, this vibration. from the heart, as if the heart is hearing.
that vibration to meet the heart center. Chitta, the aware heart. As you breathe in and out, breathing in is meeting your own suffering, heartache, shame, grief, fear, sadness, whatever form. And as you breathe out with the intention of healing and support, spaciousness, peace, clarity. Breathing in, receiving. Breathing out, offering compassion, peace, healing to yourself. Feeling your exhalation, awareness, riding the exhalation like a soothing balm. That is awareness itself. Awareness knowing the suffering. And awareness offering care, clarity, compassion. to the parts of you that don't feel good enough, to the parts that feel inadequate, to the parts that feel whatever is showing up for you. And then letting awareness rest in the area of the heart center, feeling any sensations here. And then let awareness travel back towards the back of the heart center, feeling the back body. Perhaps it's touching a surface behind you or even feeling your clothing there or just feeling the air. And let attention continue moving back behind you. How you don't have to turn your head to look, you can just feel space and awareness behind.
this awake awareness already is and is including and knowing you. And so now we'll gently, very gently, open through this awake awareness that includes you to let yourself connect with someone else that you know is suffering, someone in your life. Could be someone close to you, but somebody that you are aware of and know who's experiencing difficulty. And the pain or suffering or sorrow they're experiencing might be different than what you're experiencing, might be similar, it doesn't matter. Just connecting to their difficulty. And to whatever extent feels comfortable for you as you breathe in that awareness of their suffering comes through you, through the heart center that's like a gossamer curtain and back through to awake awareness behind you. And as you breathe out, sending, offering, support, relief, healing, We breathe in awareness of the suffering of others back behind you, through you, including you, bigger than you, boundless. And we breathe out peace, clarity, healing. Continue this with someone that you know for these next few minutes together in silence. And then if you like, you could choose another person to connect awake awareness with that you know is suffering, or you could open further to a group of people or to all beings. All beings that are experiencing suffering, And this comes through our relative awareness, back behind into absolute awake awareness that's boundless. And as we exhale, it moves through our heart-mind 
and forward out. Wishing healing, peace, relief, offering it, transforming, breathing in, and open, and breathing out, and open. If you feel overwhelmed or caught in thought, you could gently return to kind attention with yourself and your own heartache with that. Feel how your own heart center can feel connected, interconnected, without feeling overwhelmed when we connect with awake awareness. Through the direct experience of spaciousness.
Feel how our individual heart minds can connect to this source of wisdom and boundless compassion when we feel confused and collapsed or overwhelmed. including ourselves and all beings. And as you hear these three vibrations again, feel them from that spacious awareness moving through and including ourselves, each other, all beings. And when you feel ready to transition from your practice, try to open your eyes very gently and keeping soft gaze, perhaps being able to still feel that awake awareness holding all of us. Even as the eyes open, So when we keep that soft gaze, it can help us to stay connected with soft heart. Hmm. Yeah, so I hope there is um something in there that you can play with for yourself to find your own way into connecting to this source of care and compassion that is uh can keep us from that near enemy of a collapsing sorrow um and from this place to begin to trust that wise response is more likely to show up, <laughs> to know, uh, to have a sense of um, how to respond to the suffering of our own beings and and each other. So thank you for practicing with us and hope to see you again.